recently I have come across as well the situation where advertising companies do have a full stream of audio description and um, uh, subtitling with the advertising campaign. And yet the subtitling will not be shown in the specific country where they are showing the, the advertising campaign because the broadcaster does not have the ability to provide the additional um, streaming of a file because they have not invested or um, in the, um, the infrastructure and um, or we just don't want to do it. So, so it, it's really hard to, to see how we can break this kind of mindset around the broadcasters because it seems to be broadcasters are resistant. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's a very interesting uh, detail, I think, that you mentioned with broadcasters and uh, commercials, advertisement. Uh, as may be explained to our viewers, some of them might be surprised. Uh, I know that for you, as in the United Kingdom, it's actually uh, something normal and obvious to see commercials on TV with subtitling, which is not the case in many other countries. Very often, broadcasters provide shows, they are uh, obliged to through uh, legal uh, regulations, but no commercials, no advertisements are subtitled. But in the UK, it's not like this. Most commercials, I understand, have subtitles uh, on TV. And to be honest, they are not required to do this in the way when you think about it. It's the broadcast. They do it for their and... own interest to yeah. reach cons customers. Exactly, but um, the, the commercial um, the campaigns and the broadcasters understand the value. Mm -hmm. Of course, and it's, I, I guess it's the same with those streaming platforms. You said that as a viewer, as a user of streaming platforms, you would like to see more SDH for those non-English productions that you want to watch. And actually, I guess it's also in the best interest of the platform to give you what you want so that you are happy as a subscriber and you continue your subscription and you watch more content. That's their objective, ultimately. Uh, 